All right. So before we even get into this video, I want to be very clear before we do that it, it might not be everybody's cup of tea. Okay. It's not going to really be like a typical video where we react to videos and then we give commentary. I'm going to be reading a Reddit throughout this entire thing. So I hope that's okay. Anyways, I came across the Reddit and it really intrigued me and I wanted to react to it and just read over it. I am going to be making this into a part two video. So today we're going to be reading that Reddit and then tomorrow I'm going to be finding all those clips that are very questionable and I'm going to compile that into one big compilation video of questionable Eugenia Cooney footage. So basically this is a repost of somebody else's, I don't know if it's a Reddit or if it was just a thread. I don't know what it was or where it was originally, but right now this is a Eugenia Cooney reddit thread basically and this is just a repost but it's called eugenia cooney a comprehensive list so what this is basically is detailing all these times throughout the years that from start to finish basically of eugenia cooney talking about or mentioning her family members and twisted little moments as well so again i hope this is okay that we're just going to be spending today reading this reddit <laughs> i know so exciting a lot of y'all are probably gonna be bored as fuck y'all are probably gonna click away like so quick from this video but again i just want to have like a chit chat with y'all today i don't want to do like the whole video shebang so i just want to read this and i just want to talk to y'all about it so we're gonna be diving right the hell into it so it starts off by saying this is a list of all the times eugenia interacts with or talks about her family in her youtube videos if it is italicized that means it's in her words or a shortened version of her words not mine otherwise it is me explaining what's happening in the video i will add notes and parentheses for anything that needs additional explanation some things might not be outright related to her family specifically but are implied to be or are in general points of interest if any videos do not Sorry, I just lost my place. If any videos do not have any particular points of interest and are basically just what the title of the video is, I will not have or hold any notes to it. Anything from her streams will be added to the bottom of this list since I have no way of knowing when exactly they happen. She continues by saying, if you're wondering why I am doing this, aside from the fact that I have the time to do this while I'm working, it is because I believe Jacqueline Glenn, Eva, holy shit, I'm so sorry if I like chop up these names, Eva, Demuro, Frank, Gioia, <laughs> Jesse, Paige, <laughs> David, Michael, Frank. I believe them when they say she is in immediate danger from her family and that her family has a script that they do feed the police whenever a wellness check is called. I also don't think that the group of people is prone to lying about something like this. And although Frank and Jesse did not publicly speak about it, they were involved with getting her help. And I would assume that if they disagreed with Jacqueline, they would either would not be friends with her or I think that we would have heard something about it because it is a serious accusation to make. I also don't think that any of us really know the level of a that goes on in the house either even Jacqueline and co although I think they have a much better idea than most of us do there has been a lot of speculation and a lot of theories about everything for a really long time while I don't think this list will completely piece things together hopefully it will prove to anyone who has any doubt that something is very wrong is happening in that household Jacqueline said it was important to keep heat on the mother and that is what I'm doing now, this next little paragraph is her just saying, like, if she misplaced anything or messed anything up or just correct her, you know, just let her know in the comment section and she'll correct it. But I read over some of this list before I started actually doing the video. That's why I wanted to do a video about it. And y'all, a majority of this shit is stuff that we have already talked about on this channel. But there are some bits and pieces that I missed. And there are some videos that I did not, was not able to upload because of copyright infringement with super me. so with that being said i'm very excited to make this video because i feel like a lot of us really do genuinely have a lot of questions about what the hell goes on in the cuny chaos household so i feel like this is going to answer some questions not really answer some questions but it's more so going to reassure us that our questions were valid because something is very fucking wrong now diving into it this is going to be the draw my life it's a now deleted video but it was originally posted back in 6 19 2013 and this is a video that we had talked about on my channel, and it's very disturbing. Now, this is italicized, so this is what Eugenia said, but it's probably a little bit reiterated to make some more sense from the original uploader of this. So it says here, for the first year of her life, her mother kept her in a car seat, and she was always trying to look around and wonder how to get out. She also didn't sleep much as a baby. In elementary school, her teachers told her mom that she was too obsessed with Brad's dolls and suggested she take riding lessons instead. Her mom got her more Brad's dolls instead. 
Her mom took her all over the place, the Bahamas, Pittsburgh, Las Vegas, to see the Jonas Brothers concerts. She also went to New York a lot and loved the city. She missed school here and there for it, but didn't lack school. She once had a counselor say he wanted to be a father figure to her, and she thought it was weird and creepy. She liked to shop a lot more than to be at school, and she got into modeling and then got into You Now than YouTube. Her mom and her were very close, but not in an incest way, which is something that Eugenia said in that original video, and I really... I took note to it, but I don't know why I didn't comment on that. But she really did. She said something about how her mom and her are really, really close, but not in an incest way. And it's like, why would you even like, why would you say that? This is something here I think is very interesting, okay? Because she always talks about going to Disney and how much she loves Disney. And she enjoys it. It's such a magical place. But y'all remember way back in the day when she first started doing YouTube and she would talk about going to Disney. She said, yeah, we go there a lot because my brother likes it. Oh, my brother loves Disney. So my mom, you know, she always takes us to Disney because that's where my brother wants to go. So back in the day, she would basically admit we go to Disney a lot but it's only because my brother lacks it and nowadays when she makes content nine times out of ten she's at Disney World and she's hyping it up saying it's her favorite place it's so magical it's where she wants to be and it says here basically she goes to Disney World a lot but it's entirely because of her brother because he is obsessed with Disney her biggest inspiration is her mom because she's an amazing person she's currently living in New York so that's Eugenia for 3-23-2013 now, here's this one, and it's from 7513, and it says How to Be Annoying, which is a now-deleted video. It says Eugenia's brother is shown dancing outside on a public sidewalk twice during the video. He's also shown mimicking trying to braid a stranger's hair. I didn't see this video, so I have no fucking idea. But I do want to say that Chip, he wasn't like in her content in her content but he was featured in it a few times and um i'm pretty sure all those clips are deleted and the only things you can find are archives of those because she's talked very openly that deb doesn't really like to be on camera that much and chip doesn't like to be on camera now this next one is christmas in july from 7 12 2013 and she said eugenia walks around downtown in greenwich connecticut with high heels a tank top short shorts and a santa hat on her mom or possibly father films her going up to people to tell them Merry Christmas and to ask them if they are excited about Christmas. Most of them seem uncomfortable and don't want to respond to her. She is clearly very underweight and it's also July. It comes off very much so like she's just harassing people and filming them when they don't want to be filmed. I remember this video. <laughs> she genuinely, she was going up to people and she wasn't asking everybody this, but she was like, uh, do you want a pregnant barbie doll or like a pregnant baby doll for christmas and people is like get the hell away from me yeah i feel like now looking back at it i feel like this christmas in july video kind of reminds me of like kick streamers nowadays like the irl streamers who basically just walk around harassing people in public and use that as content and that whole video is very much that vibe so feel free to go check it out because it is super fucking weird of a watch now this next one is bothering people at the beach from 8 to 2013 and this is that video basically where she was trying to pop up that chair and couldn't pop up that chair then she was going around asking people if they like mermaids and if she can braid their hair and another interesting watch but it says here her mom or possibly her dad films her talking to people at the beach i'm pretty sure it was her mom and it says she is wearing very similar clothing to the previous video, but without the hat or shoes. Some of the interaction, she asked if a fam she asked a family if she can join their day at the beach, and the dad says no. Sorry, it's a private family day. The family is visibly confused. Then she approaches a mother and son, and the mother says to Eugenia, you know, you look very, and the film cuts. And then it zooms in on the boy's face while the mother is talking, and the boy looks disgusted, upset, angry. This is the only interaction that is cut during the middle of an interaction. She then goes up to an older man, approximately 50, and asks if he's single. He pauses and then looks to the camera and smiles in a confused and irritated way. And then it says, no, his wife is over by the parking lot. She then tells him to go check her to go check out her dating website called Eugenia Dating and if he has any single friends to tell them to look at it. It then says she goes she then goes up to three women and asks them if they are looking for anyone to date. And they say no and that they are at the beach with their kids. She then asks if their kids are looking to date and that she has a younger department on her website if they are interested in starting to date. One of the mothers looks visibly angry and the other two look confused. There are several more encounters with people who are uncomfortable and don't know how to respond, with a lot of them staring directly at whoever is recording. At the end of the video, Eugenia says she pissed a lot of people off and got yelled at a few times, but did this for her fans. Side note, 
all throughout the video, you can hear the person behind the camera laugh. Now, I could be wrong on this, but y'all can go check out Tall Soldier's channel because I'm fairly certain that he did talk about basically a video. I'm pretty sure it was this one where she was at the beach or it's one very similar to this one where the cameraman, the person filming, it wasn't her dad, but it was her driver. So her driver was basically following her around, filming her, vlogging her vlog for the day. And I don't know, I just feel like it's all so exploitative, you know, and I understand Eugenia does a lot on her own. I feel like she is way more calculated than people plan it, like, than people think she is. You know, I think a lot of people see her and think of cognitive disability because of how far she is into her disorder. But honestly, looking back through her content, even in the early stages of her content, it was always very, how do I say this, like sexually charged, and it was always very uncomfortable to watch. This next timestamp is my first time, and it's 8:23:13, and this is actually a video that we reacted to, and I said, wow, you know, just shame on the mother for not seeking therapy for a daughter. But also, there was a lot of things that didn't make sense as well, but let's read this first, and I'll tell y'all what did not make damn sense. So it says here, my first time, 8-23-13, her first kiss was with two guys at a hotel. They asked her to come to a party, and she didn't want to. She didn't want to say no, and then they both started to kiss her even though she didn't want to. Then her mom came in and said, okay, we're going. So that's literally how Eugenia said, you know, the, the story. She was saying that basically she was at the pool, she was at this hotel, they were traveling. Two men approached her at the pool, they were drinking, and asked her if she wanted a party. She didn't want to be mean and turn them down so she proceeded to follow them back to the hotel room she said when they get in the hotel room both of them started to kiss her and advance on her and she wasn't okay with it she didn't okay it but she just went along with it because again she said she didn't want to hurt their feelings which what the fuck but the part that got me that made me question what you know was the fact that deb just bursted in there towards the end or the middle and said hey we're going just get out we're going why would, uh, for, how did Deb know where she was, okay? We all know Deb doesn't leave Eugenia's side. She's constantly hovering and watching Eugenia. So why would she even allow Eugenia to go back in the first place with these two men drinking into a hotel room? Why would she even allow that to happen and then intervene? Why? You know what I mean? Like, that just didn't make sense to me, but let's move on. So moving on, it says awkward situations, 2, 24, 14. Oh my God, are we only in 2014? <laughs> Y'all, this might easily become a three-part video. Anyways, awkward situations, 2, 24, 14. And it says here she talks about awkward situations. Some are when her mom wants to go to playlist. I think this is the first time we see the mom in parentheses. So that means that this is the commentators basically saying this is the first time that they think they've seen the mom is when she actually went to playlist live with Eugenia. Then the second time is when she is sitting alone in her room and she looks and sees her brother is staring at her what like i'm sorry but if i'm just sitting here minding my damn business minding my business okay and i look up and i see somebody staring at me what are you doing <laughs> lastly but certainly not least for at least eugenia's laugh um it says here and when her dad asked her where she's going and laugh and she don't know how to answer because why would she know how to answer if you guys are constantly enabling her to live with you and not have any direction in life but you know that's just my thoughts and opinions all right this next one is 5 5 14 titled i'm a crazy person and it says she went to the hospital for a pain in her side when she got there they tried to do an ultrasound and couldn't find her uterus or ovaries then it says she also had been having weird dreams because of things that happened to her recently weird dreams about police coming into the house with guns and her dog graping her i can't say the real word but y'all know what the incentive is. So weird things that happened to her recently is causing her to have these bad dreams, these weird dreams. And totally understandable with the police coming to her house with guns because they've been there for multiple welfare checks. Um, but the dog graping her situation, that is something we need to unpack. What the fuck? I don't know if I'm allowed to say this word on YouTube, so I'm probably not going to say it. Beast, um, Beast Tia, Tia, Liddy, um, <laughs> I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say, I don't think, I truly don't think I can say that word on YouTube, like, it'll be probably immediately flagged, but just sound it out, and you'll get it, um, why, 
why, why, why would that be a dream? You know, like what happened to where that would be a dream? That just gets me concerned and makes me think, you know, what the fuck goes on behind closed doors? Like truly what goes on behind closed doors to where this is in your head? This is what you're thinking about, what you're dreaming about. Shut the front door because this is literally something I just talked about. I just talked about this in my last video, dead ass last video I just made about her. Or it might have been the last video prior to the last one. I'm not sure. It was one of those two. Go check it out. But we just talked about her dad, okay? Saying we don't know that much about him. There's a few things here and there. He's talked a few times on camera. We've seen like a tiny glimpse of his blurry face. We don't know that much about him, you know? And I said it's mighty interesting and quite uncanny that the only thing we really know about him is from some of the things that Eugenia has talked about and one of the things that she talked about was him being into the twilight books the teenage romance shit and how he loved all the twilight books even the sexual one and this is something I said to not know a lot about a man but to know this is very uncomfortable but let's go ahead and read this it's, this is titled my insane family members this was a video that she had posted and this was back in 5 12 2014 and she said her family, her family is insane and creepy. Her dad doesn't remember her birthday or her brother's birthday, but possibly knows her mom's birthday, possibly. Her grandma calls to say happy birthday or happy holiday when it's not even that day. But her brother loves Disney, so they go to Disney a lot. Her grandma is obsessed with Hannah Montana and wanted to see it on tour. And her grandma cried when Eugenia's mom wouldn't buy her grandma a Hannah Montana ticket. I did not know that. It says she only really sees her grandma in the terms of family members outside of her brother, mom, and dad. A couple of times, she has seen her aunt and uncle, and they would always tell her to leave the internet because it's bad for her. Gee, I wonder why Deb cut contact with that one. <laughs> but it's not funny, but in all seriousness. Continuing, it says whenever her aunt and uncle go on vacations, they go and tour grocery stores. Her grandma's front door is front door lock is broken and has been for years so she just puts a chair in front of the door her grandma also calls the police and fire department and asks some pointless questions like what the weather forecast is or the directions to get somewhere her mom freaks out a lot and screams when she thinks she has lost a credit card or receipt even though it's always in her purse her dad read all the twilight books and loved them even the sexual one i made a video about the grandma a long time ago well it was like four or five months ago maybe six months at max um I remember when I made that video, I had said, I think the grandma knows a lot more than she let on because maybe she couldn't ever tell anybody anything. I think Deb has power control over that entire fucking household, okay? Honest to God, I do. I feel like Deb is, like, powerhouse and control. Everybody's just in the queen's gamut at this point. But it's very ironic because I remember there was a few times on stream with the grandma where I felt like she was going to drop some fire information then the video would just cut or granny would disappear you know and it's like what the fuck like bring the grandma back we want to hear the truth okay this next one's gonna be i'm gonna give y'all a trigger warning because it's uncomfortable so with that being said trigger warning it's uncomfortable um weird dreams 818 in 2014 and it says a dog graped her in her dream her legs were open and instead of trying to close them she would try to jump up and stop the dog from doing it but it didn't work it also says she has a lot of dreams where she or is she had a dream where her parents got into a fight and she took her mom's side and her mom warned her that her dad has anger issues and to be careful. And then her dad pushed her off the Eiffel Tower and her her mom told her they needed to go to a necrophilia ride at a music park. She has a lots of dreams of her teeth falling out. Wow. Well, paint me pink and call me pessimistic because what the fuck? I think dreams, whether they're good or bad, are very much related to things that happen in your subconscious. I know I think a lot before I go to bed, my mind don't stop really from the time I wake up, from the time I go to bed to even when I'm sleeping, I'm constantly thinking and dreaming. But um, yeah, I have a lot of dreams about the world ending and it's pretty much because I think about that 24 seven. I'm a <laughs> quirky end of the world days girly. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I'm waiting for the nuke. I'm waiting for the <laughs> mushroom cloud, acid fog, rabies zombie viruses coming out of the permafrost that's melting in antarctica i'm just waiting for literally anything at this point <laughs> i literally had a dream this was a couple months ago but like, i woke up and i cackled <laughs> like, i just couldn't help it i remember i had a dream i was so scared of nuclear war okay and this is like whenever the war happened with ukraine i don't know if i can say that in the video i might have to mute that part but this is whenever the war happened and i remember i was so fucking terrified i was like we're next you know and 
I had a dream that I was grocery shopping with my mom, my son, and a few family members, and a nuke fell from the sky. What does the nuke do? It doesn't go off. It lands right the fuck beside me, and it's just, it's not going off. So in my dream, what do I do? I get up to run. <laughs> but yeah, it's just interesting that she's having, we're going to check out that video tomorrow, y'all, so my part two might be delayed because I'm really interested in watching that weird dreams video and like let's let's debunk it yeah we're probably gonna have to make a part two to this I'm gonna be reading these last two then wrap it up it says the ice bucket challenge for ASL this was 8 23 2014 oh my god I feel old it was that long ago it says she is wearing a crop top and short shorts her mom pours the ice water on her and then laughs while Eugenia screams I remember that it says here why school sucks 9 1 14 Kids who were popular in school and graduate aren't usually very successful later in life. Most things you learn in school don't apply to real life. Uniforms suck. Teachers are mean. And it says Eugenia dropped out of her school in freshman year. She also talked a lot about being bullied in school. But then there were like Facebook videos where it seems like she was possibly the bully, but claiming that she was the one being bullied. I don't really know, y'all. I feel like I'm going to wrap it up here, okay? Um, if y'all do want a part two to this, which it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I do care what y'all think, but I am, regardless, going to be dropping a part two to this just to finish what we started today. But I want to wrap it up here because I really, there's a lot. There's a lot to unravel, you know? So I want to get y'all's thoughts and opinions about anything we just talked about today. If there is something in this video, any of these points that we just talked about, let me know in the comment section if y'all have more thoughts and opinions about it. And let me know if there are any specific videos or mentions that we had made in this video today that y'all want me to make a video on and do further of a deep dive. So with that being said, I am going to wrap this up because I feel like you know, we're only in 2014, <laughs> but there's a lot, a lot, a lot we gotta, we gotta talk about. Wrapping up this video, I just want to say some bad news, but good news. I lost my first sponsorships. Y'all know, like, when you watch one of your favorite YouTubers, like, they'll be like, oh, this video is sponsored by so-and-so, and like, uh, you know, it's always a good thing to get sponsored by somebody. I had a really beautiful company. They're actually a, an, an incredible company. I'll give them that much gorgeous company that I actually hired their services in the past and I probably still pay on their services I don't know what I have at this point that I'm paying on but I'm paying on a lot of shit but I had this company in the past and I I gotta check see if I still do because if I am still paying for it that's probably something I should cancel not just because not because they're a bad company but just because I don't need that service right now now I'm worried about my finances. Anyways, um, <laughs> this company had reached out to me and was like hey we like your content um we want to sponsor you. And I was like, that's incredible. This would be my first sponsorship. I'm so excited. I really look forward to a future potential partnership. And um, I ended up getting in touch with like the main guy. And I was really excited to move forward. He said to set up like a Zoom or some type of meeting that we can have with each other to further discuss details, payments, whatever. So I sent him not my information, but I was like, okay, like, you know, just whenever is best for me, you know, we can set up a time and a date, but then they just stopped reaching out to me. And I was like, Oh, they probably see my Eugenia Cuny content. <laughs> and that's not something a lot of brands want to get behind and sponsor. So uh, this was like a month ago and I just decided to talk about it. I was thinking to myself, I can stop covering Eugenia Cuny and I can really full hard launch like a career for myself here on YouTube. I can get paid really good from doing sponsorships and I thought to myself I should quit talking about Eugenia Cooney and just like full hard launch my YouTube not career but what could potentially be a career one day and I was very excited thinking about that but then I remembered why I started this YouTube channel in the first place not like YouTube in general but commentary because I did first start YouTube doing gaming content then I switched to commentary and I switched to commentary more so because I want to give my thoughts and opinions. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. I want to say truly what's on my mind, whatever the hell I'm thinking without worrying about repercussion or backlash. But at the same time, I want to bring awareness to situations that they are very dark. They're not great to watch. They're not something advertisers want to get behind, but there are things that need to be talked about. So I could quit talking about Eugenia and start accepting sponsorships because Lord knows this don't pay my bills. Or I could continue to raise awareness to how awful it is to glamorize a disorder and I can also bring a different voice because a lot of people do support her and when they do talk about her they say 
nice sayings. They don't want to be rude because if you're rude to somebody with a disorder, you're an asshole. And that's not the case. You know, I feel like it is very important to use our voices and our platforms to, one, bring awareness to things, but then to also be able to voice our opinions and how we feel. And I don't want to change how I'm doing my channel or content or who I'm covering just because simply a brand doesn't like that. So with that being said, goodbye sponsorships. <laughs> uh, yeah, but to wrap this up, I want to thank y'all so damn much for giving me a purpose more so to have a channel, being able to talk about these kind of things and get so much good responses. But also I want to thank y'all truly because I feel weird sometimes covering Eugenia Cooney, but then I see so many people in the comment section that it genuinely helps. People who are triggered highly by her content who have relapsed because of Eugenia and certain things on the internet that people they they hold her on a pedestal okay and a lot of people think that it's healthy because how many times she said it and just being able to read comments every now and then of people who have struggled with this or are currently struggling with this and they're like this is really helping me get through it yeah I'm, I want to keep helping people you know I don't want to fold out and just be like yeah pay me I'll stop talking about it but with that being said I love y'all. Thank you so damn much. And I can't wait to make a part two, part three on this. But also, again, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below the parts that you really want me to touch on. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.